Hello Logic Language Learners, so today's video is about the word EN, okay, E-N, not to be confused with the uh, pronunciation EN, O-N, which is one, or we, if we're using it informally, okay? So this is a pronoun, and you know I don't like to give you guys grammar, but what is a pronoun? It's a replacement little word, yeah? So this is going to be representing something else, okay? So we'll look at that in a minute. What's the first rule of pronouns, okay? The first rule of pronouns is they go before the main verb. So let's just check we remember the rule. So I see, je vois, I see him, a direct one, je, je le vois, okay? Uh, as per normal, all of the text will come underneath. I see her, je la vois. Okay, so these are direct. So let's just place this word order. So je la vois. Okay, I see her. I, her, see. Where else do we place pronouns? We place them before the main verb. And if we go in the past, the main verb includes the have. So for example, if I had he uh, spoke. Okay, il a parlé. He spoke to me, the little to me word is going to go before the have. So that's our other place. It's still before the main verb because these count as, to, these count as the main verb together, okay? And our final rule, and those of you that work with me directly know this, is if you have an infinitive, if you have a long form, if you have a to form, your little buzzword will go before that. So for example, I, I'm going to see her, je vais la voir, put the la before the to form, uh, I'm going to, he's going to speak to me, il va me parler, okay, so these go before the long form, so let's do one more, um, so we are going, let's say, uh, we eat, nous, we eat them, nous les mangeons, can I just very quickly draw your attention to the E on manger? Manger, as you know, is M-A-N-G-E-R, manger. Oh, there's an alarm going off, I do apologise. So manger is M-A-N-G-E-R. So you would think, oh, well, my new ending is O-N-S, so M-A-N-G-O-N-S. But in French, a G going straight into an O will give me mangon, okay? This is a little bit similar to why we have, for example, the C with the cedilla. We have a little line under that C because otherwise it would make a ca rather than a, a, a s sound, okay? Or a k. So, for example, garçon, okay? We have a little cedilla. We soften the C. So, this is the same with mangeant. We have an E there, but don't worry about that one too much. So, I see her, je la vois. He spoke to me. Uh, il m'a parlé. And in fact, let's, let's make this one future. Let's say we are going to eat them. Okay, so we, we are going to eat. So we have an, an infinitive, we have a long form. So a little word is going to go before the to form. So nous allons les manger. Okay, so in all of these examples, although they all look very different, the same rule applies. You are putting your little replacement word, la for her here, me for me here, and le for them here. They're going before the main verb. So I have see, there's only one verb, so je la vois, I her see. He spoke, the have and the spoke will always count as one main verb. So you stick anything before it, il m'a. Parle, il t'a parle, il l'a parle. And when you have the two form, the infinitive, the long form, you will always, always, always pop your little word before that. So, now let's look at en, okay? So en basically represents some, or of them. And I want you to take your hand and I want you to scoop, okay? You're taking a sample, you're taking a scoop, you're grabbing, but in a kind of bringing it together motion. Let's look what other hands we've used for pronouns. So I see her, her, him, them, it. I always say grab. Yeah, they are directly having the verb done to them. Him, le, her, la, 
them lay. And indeed those ones, as you already know, if not, go and have a look at the direct video, is, it's, it's the word the, le la lay, okay? Lui, pew, leur, pew, to him, to them. Okay, so I speak to him, je, pew, je lui parle. You're not speaking him, you're speaking to him. I uh, give to them, je leur donne, okay? So on is somewhat different, it is of it or some. So let's go with some for the moment, okay? So where else have you used some? You have used some up until now, okay? And let me pop this up in this corner. You have used some up until now, uh, before the noun. So some pizza, some, some coffee, some uh, tart, for example. Would you like some tart? Would you like some pie? Some children. Okay, so we've had de plus the main word. So for example, de plus a, a the is how I say some. Okay, so what's the coffee? Le café, so de plus le will give me du café. Okay? De plus le will give me du café. Like the advert, du pain, du vin, du boursin. Some, some, du pain, some bread, du vin, some wine, du boursin, some boursin cheese. So de plus la will, will remain de la. So if we have a feminine, some tart, de la tarte. Uh, some cream, la crème. You know, do you have any cream? Vous avez de la crème, yeah? Okay, uh, face cream or cream on cake or whatever. Um, I'm allergic to dairy, so cream is a bit of a sore subject with me. Um, some kids, so remember what's the some method? De plus the appropriate word, the. So de plus lay is going to form to make day. Okay, and as I said in the video yesterday, be very careful with day, you, those of you who are just starting, because day is two words, de and lay, day, of the, from the, plural. Not day, de, de, this is Spanish pronunciation for, for our word here. How do we pronounce this word on its own? De. Great. So this is what happens when you've got the word some before the noun. So some, and then you hear the word. So some children, des enfants. Yeah? The children, les enfants, some children, des enfants. Some wine, le vin, it's masculine, some wine, du vin, for example. Um, uh, water is low, the water, so some water would be de plus the, the word de l'eau, okay? So, do you want some water, vous voulez de l'eau, yeah? As opposed to d'eau, which is of water, yeah? Un verre d'eau, a glass of water. So, some when you don't hear the word, which means you know what it's referring to, you know what you are talking about, is going to be on, en. So, for example, if I say to you, uh, somebody says to me, uh, can you see any children? Yeah, I, I see some. You're not saying I see them, which would be je les vois. Yeah, you're saying I see some. And you're not saying I see some children, je vois des enfants. Okay? You're going to say, I see some. And your word for some, as I've said, when it goes in the middle of the sentence, is en. So, here, we are going to make this J apostrophe en, just as you would with any other word beginning with a vowel after, after a J. So, j'habite, j, you know, I live, I have. Good. So, I see some. He spoke. Yeah? He spoke to me. So let's take this back to he spoke, okay? He spoke about it. He spoke of it. So I, like I said, I want you to connect this en to the idea of de plus something. So here, de plus something is our way of saying some plus the word. And here he spoke to me about the thing, okay? So we will come to that one in a second, in a little bit more detail. But he spoke to me about, sorry, he spoke about it. So he spoke, il a parlé, il a parlé, he spoke of it, he spoke about it. What's my of it word, what's my scoop word? En, il en a parlé, il en a parlé, okay? We are going to eat them, nous allons les manger. We are going to eat the sweets, for example, nous allons manger les bonbons. 
we're going to eat some. Now in English, we are going to eat some and we are going to eat some sweets. It's pretty similar. All we're doing is taking the word sweets off the end. Okay? But the word order will be the same. In French, as you well know now, if you don't have the proper noun, you are going to stick it in the sentence. So we are going to eat some sweets. Nous allons manger des bonbons. We are going to eat some. Nous allons en manger. Why does it go here? Because it goes before the main verbs. Eat some. Okay? Nous allons en manger. Okay? So let's have a look at some other examples where, we, where we're going to use en. Okay? And you can really start connecting that en is something you use to replace de plus something else or the idea of some. So let's have a little look. Okay. So, what's my expression for there are, there is, il y a. So, il y a plus whatever's coming there. So, I could say there are three people. Il y a trois personnes. Okay, il y a trois personnes. There are two people. Il y a deux personnes. Okay. If I said there are three of them, in English, if you were listening to that sentence and you didn't know what I was talking about, you'd say there are three of what? So you need to know what you were talking about. So there are three of them, yeah? From them, of them, this word. But without the noun, it's going to be en. So if I get rid of trois personnes, okay, so there are three of them. I've still got the word three. So il y a trois, or let's write it for example, il y a trois. Okay, so that says there are three. There are three of them. I now need to put in again my little on word. Where is my on word going to go? It's a pronoun. Where does a pronoun go? Before the main verb. Where is the verb in il y a? Il y en a. So try saying that for me. There are three of them. Il y en a trois. Il y en a trois. Okay, let's say he wants some bread. Il veut du pain. Okay, he wants some bread. Il veut du pain. He wants some. Now again, same as before, if I didn't know what you were talking about and, I, and he just turned up and said, oh, he wants some, well, could sound a little bit rude, but otherwise we would know, we'd be, well, what does he want? So with this sum of it, this substance you're referring to, you need to pretty much know what it's, it needs to have been referred to previously in the conversation. So for example, um, does he need bread? Oh yes, he wants some, okay? So again, when I get rid of the actual proper thing, and I'm going to refer to it, I'm going to use on. So it's not he wants it, yeah? This, the bread there, does he want it? Yeah, oui, il le veut, he wants it. It's he wants some. Can you hear how it's less specific? So, il en veut, okay? Il en veut. So most of the time, if you say I want, je veux, or je voudrais, okay, let's have a look. So, je voudrais. I would like. I would like some. Where's my one verb? Voudrais. It has to go before there. Again, it will be Jean voudrais. Okay? Let's have a look at one other thing. So. Let's start linking it a little bit more, um, in a bit more of an advanced way, with anything to do with de. So if, for example, you had, she spoke to you, elle t'a parlé, about the girl. Yeah, so you have a friend or a teacher or a colleague and she spoke to you about the girl. Because this is the big thing here. De can be from, 
of about the same idea, okay? So she spoke to you about...